A golden opportunity for the 49ers tonight on Monday Night Football. A chance to move atop the NFC West and improve to 4-0 in the division with this showdown against the Cardinals. The game's in Mexico City and Estadio Azteca. Technically a home game for Arizona, but the crowd was definitely way more for the Niners. Niners practice squad member Alfredo Gutierrez, a native Mexican emotional during the Mexican National Anthem. San Francisco down 3-0 early on in the second until Jimmy Garoppolo hits Brandon Ayuk for a seven-yard touchdown, and the Niners never trail again. Next possession for Arizona, Jimmy Ward picks off Colt McCoy, making the start in place of the still-injured Kyler Murray, and three plays later, Garoppolo stepping up into the pocket, hits George Kittle on that little floater, and he does the rest. A 39-yard touchdown for a 14-3 lead. San Francisco is up 17-10 going into the break. Third quarter now, Debo Samuel on the end around. Oak Ridge product Ross Dwelly ahead of him as his lead blocker for a little while, and that's a 39-yard touchdown on the ground. 94 yards of total offense for Samuel. San Francisco is up 24-10. Final seconds of the quarter now, Garoppolo to Ayuk for his second touchdown catch of the game. Garoppolo 20 of 29, 228 yards and four touchdowns. His last one coming in the fourth quarter, finding Kittle again, this time in the flat. Kittle takes it the rest of the way for a 32-yard score. He finishes with 84 yards on four catches. The defense posts a second half shutout for the third straight game. Samuel Womack picks off Trace McSorley, the first career interception for the rookie as San Francisco wins it 38 to 10. Man, I love San Francisco, but if we couldn't be there, I would love to be here. This place is awesome. Um, no, it's um, that was just one of the coolest experiences I've been a part of. I mean, when they're booing the other team coming out and cheering for us, I mean, um, and we're this far away from home. I thought that was pretty special and it was um, one of my favorite games to be a part of. I haven't played in the atmosphere or anything like this. It was electric. The fans were nuts. They were cheering throughout the whole game, which uh, you know, it seemed like a soccer game at some point. It's just the, the passion that they brought and everything like that. It was, it was really cool. I would love to do it again. That's now a three-game winning streak for San Francisco. Next up, a three-game homestand starting on Sunday against the Saints. In the NBA, the Kings open up a three-game road trip tomorrow against the shorthanded Grizzlies team. After that, they're in Atlanta taking on Kevin Herter's former team and what figures to be a special, maybe emotional experience for him. Today, the NBA announced that De'Aaron Fox is a Western Conference Player of the Week, averaging 25 points while leading the Kings to a 3-0 week as part of this six-game winning streak, which has Sack riding plenty of momentum as it hits the road. Um, I mean, I think it's always exciting, you know, to go on a win streak and, um, especially to do it at home. Just the way that we're playing, we're getting up and down the court. Um, obviously, it's a fun brand of basketball for it, but for what we have to do and, and where we want to get to um, defensively, you have to, we have to be better. I think these six games, I think we're learning how to win, uh, especially at the end of the game. Um, you can see there's a lot of been a lot of close games, and I mean, we end up coming with a win just uh, even if we don't even play our best game. We've been winning at home, so to be honest, I'm more excited to be back home, but it's uh... It'll be fun. It'll be different. You know, walking a different side of the arena, uh, that'll for sure be different. And be on a different side, coming out of a different huddle, having that crowd not rooting for you. But uh, it'll be fun. It's obviously something I look forward to. Fox 40 Sports Extra Point, powered by Ford. For our Extra Point, we're checking in on high school football, where the section championships are this weekend. In Division Three, Christian Brothers are back for the first time since 2016 after a 20-14 win over Wood Creek, this, Wood Creek this past weekend. They're taking on Grant on Friday and trying to make some history in the process. We haven't won a section championship in over 40 years, so the CB community, that's a real... It, there's a lot of history behind football, and we're trying to bring that back. It's been a dream of mine since I was little to get here. My The last time we won a section title, my dad was on the team, and that was 1983, so it, it, it feels good to be back. And in the World Cup, the U.S. comes away with a 1-1 draw against Wales. They get England on Friday. The three Lions, they beat Iran today 6-2. Nikki.